We have Frank Hannon from Tesla. What's happening, Long? Sacramento's finest. Yeah, I, I caught a flight down to Long Beach at the last minute and got here. And, and now you're here. It's, it's crazy, yeah. And the good news is I'm really blown away. But Gibson, my first ever signature model in my 35-year career, Gibson made it for me. Yes. Congratulations. I can't wow. believe it. How many are they making? It's going to be a limited run to start of 50 because it is one of their higher end guitars. It's, it's going to have a pretty good price tag on it, but it's the flagship. It's it's my favorite acoustic model. It's called a Dove. I and photographed your Dove. Yeah. Yes. Well, this is a special Dove. It's called the Love Dove. Beautiful. Yeah, because this is the 30th anniversary of Tesla's love song. Yeah. Love will find a And my little acoustic intro that I did, uh, you know, I use a, a Dove acoustic for that. Beautiful. And so we oh, made yeah. a love Dove. It's got dove. the beautiful inlay on there. The world yeah. needs more well, Doves. It's, uh, it's made out of thermally aged spruce on the top and then flame maple sides and back so it really projects and it's a cherry sunburst color. Nice. And uh, I can't my, wait to get one for my 65th my, birthday. My original Dove is missing. It got, and during some hard times when I was going through divorce, I had to sell some things. And my good buddy who's passed away now, rest in peace, Don Bernstein, do you remember him? Yes, I do. He was the curator for Hard Rock Cafe. Yep. And he pr he paid me a pretty penny for it. But then he passed away, and now I can't find the guitar. It's missing. So if anybody's watching this, if you're in a Hard Rock Cafe and you see a Cherry Sunburst Gibson Dove hanging in there, it's please it. let us it's know. It's, it's mine. <laughs> I want it back. But until then, you get yourself a love dove. <laughs> Frankie, if you could go through the the annals of time and transport yourself to 50s, 60s, 70s, whatever, and you could play the one guitar, the immortal guitar that represents the essence of rock and roll, to you, what guitar would that be? Well, that is a very easy question, and when you presented that concept to me standing there, it was a no-brainer. It would have to be that Les Paul right there Love it. from Frampton Comes Alive. That's it? Oh, dude, 1976. That was the ultimate. I was 10 years old. I used to cut pieces of cardboard in the shape of his Les Paul and, and, and paint it black and cause I, and play air guitar to a, 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 a cardboard Peter Frampton Les Paul custom <laughs> when I was 10 years old. So that guitar to me is an immortal guitar for sure. It literally is immortal because it came back from the dead, that guitar. It did. What a great yeah, story, huh? It grows from the ashes, which is why it's called the Phoenix. The Phoenix, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, no, seriously, as a kid, I would stare at the Frampton Comes Alive album and listen to that live album experience oh, in my yeah. headphones. Oh, yeah. You know, lines on my face and, you know, something's happening and doobie wah. And I would hear that guitar and see that picture and that who cried what wine where the hell did i die that's right so that would have to be it so i appreciate being on your show guys i gotta go jam with jerry, you, jerry james thank nichols thank you for your time buddy yeah really and good luck you. with your cherry sunburst all right